This just in, the brand new 2015 Toyota Tundra. And can you tell by the color what it is? Yes indeed, it's the TRD Pro. But before we take it for a little bit of an off-road ride, let me show you what I don't like about the truck before I get to what I like about it. Right there, see that? That is a key from like a 1992 Toyota Camry. Same thing with the steering wheel. Toyota, you spend a lot of money stamping TRD into the metal of this truck. I wish you had spent that same amount of money on putting in an integrated brake controller. All right. Enough of the grumpiness. Here's the great part about this truck. $46,000. I think that is very reasonable for a truck that is about as capable as any pickup truck that you can buy today. It's not quite, in my opinion, at Raptor level, but it's certainly close so that when you take it off-road like this, you feel like there's a lot of confidence in the fact that you won't get stuck. It just loves, loves, loves the dirt. And I love the dirt too, so that's two of us that really enjoy this kind of off-roading. I also love the fact that, let me show you in the back, look at this, maybe you can watch this. Let me turn the camera a little bit here. Ah, Seatbelt's got me trapped. In the back, the wind, though, look at that, goes all the way down. How cool is that? Makes for a great refreshing breeze when you're driving along. What a nice touch. I like the Ford where there's a little tiny window that slides. This thing, the whole thing goes down. Love it, love it, love it. I love the interior. What a great looking truck. Interestingly, this is not the most car-like truck. This windshield is very raked. In fact, it's so raked that if I were wearing a hat, even a regular hat, I wouldn't get it in here and there's no sunroof. Imagine if you had a cowboy hat. wouldn't work but you know what it works for me it's uh, kind of cool to be able to look out of this thing and be so tall and you feel like you're in a car instead of in a truck that kind of cuts both ways what I also like about this truck of course is the Bilstein shocks I got to go on the uh, launch of it and they've got built-in reservoirs which when you're doing stuff like this and now we're gonna get a little, little bit crazy here we're gonna go we're gonna go steep and deep guys we're gonna see how this thing does when the road gets just a little bit more steep and I think it's just gonna do well oh yeah oh yeah look at that look at that no problem whatsoever the only problem I see is the fact that this is a big wide pickup truck and maybe sometimes big wide pickup trucks aren't the best when you get into very tight situations like this listen to that exhaust Oh my god I love that I love that and this is a dead end but we got up here no problem anyway what are we gonna do with this truck well besides the fact that I'm gonna have fun with it here in the Colorado Rockies we're gonna take it off-road and we're gonna compare it to the f-150 3.5 FX4 King Ranch that we also have at the same time so we're gonna do a mashup review thanks for watching as always this is Roman reporting for the fast lane truck I think I'm gonna have to back out of here because I'm in a dead end and be sure to come back when we mash this up against the Ford FX4 see you next time ciao it's the new Ram Rebel and it's interesting because because of one thing only and I've heard that now they're coming out of the factory they're up here obviously still testing but what makes it interesting is the fact that we're in this the Toyota Tundra TRD Pro and if you ask me this is the car make that truck <laughs> too much Chipotle sorry if you ask me this is the truck that the Ram Rebel directly competes with the Toyota Tundra TRD Pro a lot of it is appearance which this of course has notice the lava red or orange color on the outside of this truck but a lot of it is also underneath so yeah there's no truck that directly competes with the Ford Raptor at this point but these near Raptor trucks are certainly becoming very popular uh, which one's better you know when we get our hands on the Rebel in Colorado 
we'll try to mash it up with uh, this Tundra because that would be a really interesting uh, comparison. And let's throw a Ford F-150 FX4 in the mix. Really, really mash it up properly.